the shepherd of my soul. Number one, lean on the shepherd of your soul for direction. Lean on the shepherd of your soul for direction. When the Bible says in Psalm 23 verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd, it was saying, I trust the Lord to guide me. I trust the Lord that he knows what is best for me. And I will allow the Lord to lead me. That's what that verse 1 is saying. The Lord is my shepherd. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. You may be at the point of making some serious life decisions. That's why you are hearing this message today. Don't make that decision on the basis of your own wisdom. Don't make that decision. What you are hearing now is the message specifically for you. Allow me, the shepherd of your soul, to guide you. In John chapter 10, verse 27, John 10, 27, it says, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. The question is, do you hear the voice of God? Do you recognize the voice of God? And when you do, are you humble enough to surrender to his will? I've had the opportunity to counsel a few people and it was very clear. Even though they know the word of God, even though they are hearing the word of God through the counsel, they made up their mind to do the exact opposite. And the rest, they say, is history. I pray for somebody here today. The grace to surrender to the will of God. May God grant unto you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Proverbs 14, verse 12. says There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. You cannot know more than God. You can't know more than God. I pray for somebody here. The grace to exchange your will for the will of the Almighty. May God grant unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. 